Okay, now this is what I'm gonna work on. I've seen these stars on Pinterest, on Facebook, and I always think they're so cute and I've never made one. So I did try my hand at making one. I'll show that to you. I'll move slow. And there it is. And those, you take five boards and you, you cut them all the same length, which this one is a 20, is cut at 20 inches. And these over here, my husband went out and cut me some slat boards down. And these right here are not as wide so I'm gonna make a smaller star with it, and that's at 18 inches. I cut, cut five boards at 18 inches, and this one is gonna be a bigger star, and I cut those at 24 inches. And the star over here that's finished, I put it together before I stained it, and I just think it'd be much simpler to stain it and then go put it together. So I'm gonna take these boards here to my craft room, and I'm gonna stain them. Okay, I have these two stained and put together, and now I'm gonna decorate them, and I'll probably do them the same way I did this one, because I like the pip berries and the homespun fabric and stuff. It fits the rustic star. But I did wanna show you, when you put these together, there'll be one spot. I mean, you could leave it, but I want it really sturdy, so you just cut off I just cut me a little piece of this and stuck underneath there and stapled, glued and stapled it in. And now I'm gonna go over it with uh, the stain and stain it too. It won't show, because I have that one done the same way. All right, I'm gonna get busy on decorating these. While I was in the process of making these stars, I bought a new computer. And after I had finished them, I was in the process of putting uh, the files on the other computer. And somewhere I have lost some of the footage. So the best thing I could do, because I did want to share them, was to show you uh, some pictures of the finished project. And because the video was so short, I just added it on to the thrift flips that I'm fi fixing to do. Alrighty guys, I have three items here, or four, but this is going to be a set that I have uh, bought from the thrift store and I'm going to make them over. This uh, grater here, I have had it for a while. I had it sitting above my cabinets. It doesn't really show. It's just kind of plain, so I'm going to do something with it. And last week, or the week before, I don't remember. Might have been last week. I don't think I showed these in a thrift haul. I got quite a few things, but I didn't show it. But there's some sconces. Let me stand up and show you. And I'm going to do those over. And then this, it was just a crock sitting there I got. And I don't like the bright color of it, so I'm going to do that over and probably put something on the front of it. And these two items here, or these three items here, I'll probably do a resale on those. But I like this, and I'm going to keep it. Whatever I do to it, I'm going to keep it. So, let's get started. I forgot to mention how much I pay for each one of these items. And uh, the greater, I don't remember, because it's been a long time since I got that. But it wouldn't have been maybe 50 cents or a dollar because when I'm thrifting, I'm there for a, a good deal and I'm not gonna pay a whole lot for it. And the sconces, I gave 50 cents each for those. And then the crock, I gave a dollar for and I've already taken the sticker off from it because I had to wash it up and get it ready to be made over. Okay, I have figured out what I'm gonna do and I do that when I'm not filming because I keep trying different things and I don't like it. So I tried tying the, the 
this around the handle, it just doesn't lay right. So I'm gonna have to put it here in the corner. But before I do that, I'm gonna put this stuff here on there. So I'm going to, I want the bow in the corner. So that's, I want that pulling down on there. So I'm going to hot glue that there. Like that. And this is just a piece of raffia that I wrapped and put around my hand and then tied it, tied it in a knot in the middle. I want it to kind of go together, not all out. So I'll put that there like that. Now I'm going to hold that for just a little bit. And I'll take my bow and put it on there. Got to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. Send that to the back. Pull some of this out. Kind of like that twirl. All right, now I'll cut my this off. If I had some sharp scissors, it'd be nice. Let's see. Kind of shows right up there the glue, but it's going to be on top of the cabinet. I kind of like that. Then I went and looked for, I have, now let me show you. I know I have some down here somewhere. Yeah. They all fell all over the floor. Anyways, here's one. I have these, quite a few of these little white sets, but I went and checked, and I'm out of batteries. I did get these off of Amazon, and they have the remote with it because it's going to be on top of the cabinet, and this way I'll be able to just point it at the the remote, you know, up to it, and I can. it has eight different set, settings on it, and you can dim it or brighten it. And that's what I'm going to, when I get some batteries, I'm going to put this up there on top of my cabinet with lights in it. That way I can light it up. I would like to have it finished before I showed it. I mean, with the lights and where it's going to be, but it may be a while till I make it into town for batteries. But if I happen to get to town before I post this video, I'll show you where I'm going to put it and with the lights in it. So that's the first project. And I like the way that looks a lot better than just plain. I think it will, even if I don't have the lights in it, this will look better on top of my cabinets. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I took these out to the garage to start working on them and evidently they used to be red and somebody spray painted them black so I'm going to try putting a coat of uh, the Waverly antiquing wax over it and see what it looks like so I'm going to get started on that all right, I wanted to try something a little different uh, for my candles. I wanted a little chunkier looking. So I took some Elmer's glue, the cinnamon, and some coffee grounds that I had taken out of my coffee pot after I had made coffee, let it dry outside, and I put them in here because I knew I wanted to try this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it, 
but I'm going to mess around with it. So I have the Elmer's glue, the cinnamon, and that. And I might want it a little darker or maybe a red tint. I don't know. I might try mixing a little paint in it. I'll see and I'll let you know. All right, I did end up mixing, I wanted kind of a burgundy color, so I did end up mixing some of this uh, folk art burnt. I don't know, it's Carmen? I can't really tell. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, I did mix some of that in there to give it kind of a burgundy color. And I went ahead. Okay, this is what I'll be starting out with this. But I did go ahead and put a coat of uh, Mod Podge and then sprinkled some cinnamon over it. Because if you miss a little spot with this stuff, it won't show up as bad. Okay. Kind of show you the... Color. It's kind of a burgundy color. This has, I think it could use some more coffee, actually, after I've got finished mixing it all up. I don't, oh, there's my coffee. I'm going to put a little more coffee in it to make it a little chunkier. And mix that up in there. side. There, it's a little chunkier. Not a whole lot, but a little. And I was going to show you what I did on the, the light part. Because mine screws in from the, the ones I have here. A lot of them, the battery goes in the bottom and you turn it off and on here. But these here, it's here on the top. But I have took a very light coat of Mod Podge and put on there and sprinkled the cinnamon on it. And then I took a, a paintbrush that real, real soft and just brushed it off like that so the light could come through it. I may have to smear some of the red on it. It may look too weird. I don't know. But I'm just going to layer this on. And I do know, because I've done one before, that I had to take this outside to dry. Because it does... Oh, my computer keeps going off. Anyways, it does take a while to dry. And I have to have a way to stand it up while it's drying. Anyways, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to smear this. Oh, would you be quiet? Smear this on there. And then I'm going to take it and set it outside. And let it dry real good. I've got to give the, put cinnamon on the other one too and do it. I don't want that to be too lumpy up there where I screw that light bulb in. Okay, I'm going to have to get down towards the end, so I'm going to have to put my finger in the top of it. Get it down as close as I can. Okay, very carefully. Oh, I got most of it. I 
don't want that down on there because that goes down in the holder. Just kind of pat it to give it a little texture. Make sure it's all around the top of it. Okay, where is my little holder? There it is. I'm gonna put it in this. I can see where it needs to go down more on the... I don't want it to glue down in that holder though. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. I hope I've been in frame this whole time. I've been holding it back here, I'll bet. But there's what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in this holder and I'm gonna take it outside and let it dry. Okay, while the uh, candles are drying, I'm gonna make, I made this and I have to make another one. So, I want this one to be just about like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right there. And because that'll come unraveled and I don't want it to do that, I'm barely going to touch my glue gun to it. And I don't really want it showing. Oh, don't you fall off, glue gun. Wished I had a cordless. Okay. That's what I'm going to... See, I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, six, and I have two short ones. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my short ones. I need two short ones. See how that didn't cut right there. I'm gonna pull it, and I'm gonna glue it so it doesn't come un done, but I don't really want it to show. Ouch. Okay, where's my other short one I just cut? Did I cut it? Yes. That's my short ones. I'll get one down right there. These, and when you cut them, if you don't do that, your berries will come off. And I want to use white for this project. I think I need one more. 
I need one that's just a little bit longer because I'm going to use the bottom of this. I'm going to use the bottom of this here to wrap around those. Okay, I see. I have enough. One, two, three, four, six of them. Right in there. Alrighty, and that's going to come unravel too, but I am going to twist that. work. Now, what I've done is I've taken and tied a bow with some homespun fabric on it. This is black and tan. I thought it looked good with the uh, black wood, and I thought I was going to, when I was distressing it, I thought I was going to go to the wood or to more black, but it was red, evidently. But I just sanded it down, and then I went over it with some uh, of the Waverly, the brown wax. And then I'll take this in my infravia and glue it there. And then put my candle that I just finished and is drying there and I'm contemplating on whether I got it. Let's see. Where's my there they are. Well, I don't know whether to take this and wind it around and let it stick up with this or glue it down or just leave the star off completely. I don't know. But when my uh, candle finishes drying and I put it in here and I turn around and look at it and see what I want, I'll do it and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. I do have two of these that are the same. That's why I had to do this one. So I'm going to tie the bow on this one and I can almost bet you I leave the star off I'm not sure but anyways when I get it finished I'll come back and show you all right here they are finished and I left one setting with the star on it and one with the star off and when I walked back into the room, I looked down at them, and I liked the one with the star, so I did end up putting it on. My lighting's not good here, but there's where I put the star. It looks crooked. It is a little crooked. There. It's not crooked, but it looks crooked in the, there. Okay, anyways, there's how they turned out. I think they were really cute.
All right, I'm moving on to the crock and I want to make it simple and easy and get it done. So I just decided to put um, a stencil on it. So I went on Etsy and picked out a file that I liked. And now I'm using my Cameo to cut it out and I'll put it on the crock. Okay, I finished cutting it out with my Cameo and I've got it on here and now I'm just gonna take some I'm just wondering if I should do black or a dark blue. I think I'm going to try a dark blue, and if I don't think I like it, then I can go back over it with the black. That's what I'm going to try, since it's a croc, and a lot of crocs have blue on them. Okay, I'm going to give that a try. I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to do it in the blue, and I liked it, so I left it that way. But I am definitely going to put a sealer, a clear sealer over that so it won't scratch off. Okay, here it is finished. I think it turned out pretty cute. So until the next one, we'll see y'all later.